Hi, my name is Bob Moran. I'm a principal at Washington High School. And we are here for uh, the ceremonial groundbreaking of the new science building here at Washington High School. Going to be paid for with Measure E funds. And this is a very exciting day, I can tell you that. Oh, yes. We are honored today uh, by more than a few Fremont dignitaries. This is really great. So I believe uh, a doctor from the Fremont Bo Board of Education, Dr. Xiao, is here. And then we have Superintendent Kim Wallace. Associate Superintendent Raul Perengau. Assistant Superintendent Dr. Raul Zamora. John Chaswick, a Director of Facilities and Construction. And a number of uh, City Council members. We have uh, Mayor Lily May. Mr. Bonacorsi. Mr. Rick Jones, and uh, Raj Shawan, Councilman, thank you. We are also honored by uh, two science teachers who uh, taught for years in the 90s wing, which hopefully will be on the next bond, uh, Keith Cato and Robert Foster. And they are very excited to see this new construction take place also. Just a few words, um, I really want to thank the, the school board and the superintendent for realizing the need at Washington High School. Uh, we are a growing uh, student body and we're in desperate need of new classrooms. And our 90s wing, while very functional, uh, is in uh, need of an update and we need more classrooms. To have this need met and to have uh, to have our community listen to was, was a very empowering experience. And uh, I, sure, I couldn't be prouder to be part of this school district and be part of this community. And to have needs listened to is something special. And then on top of that, to have a building like that's gonna be constructed here, that it's just gonna be beautiful. It's gonna fit in with the existing architecture. And uh, the classrooms are going to be something that will you know, really honor the students' time here at Washington. I just, uh, I couldn't be prouder to be part of this community right now. So thank you very much for everyone for attending today. And I'm gonna pass it off to our ASB president, David Masropian. Being a part of ASB the past four years, I've heard a lot of sayings and quotes and one-liners from the activities directors I've served under. Uh, one of my favorite sayings is, nothing ever just happens. This rings especially true today. The construction of this building doesn't just happen. It's taken the work of many people to bring it this far and it will take the work of yet many more to complete it. Thank you everyone for all of your efforts. The older I get, the more I'm convinced that a good education is the key to solving most, if not all, of the problems we face today. So while it is important to recognize that things like this don't just happen, it may even be more vital to remember that things like this don't just happen well. Meaning, if these new classrooms are not filled with good teachers who are happy to be working here, then it doesn't really matter that this building is being made. I can't imagine the difficulty of running a school or a district, especially when the state places many restrictions on all the districts across California. But here in my hometown, I implore FUSD to work harder and smarter than ever before to equip students with the tools we need most, good teachers. I'm proud to attend and graduate very soon from Washington High School, home of the Huskies. We're celebrating 126 years of pride, tradition, and excellence at the best school in the district. But there's plenty of room for improvement. I hope this building leaves Washington better than how you found it. Thank you very much.
Good afternoon, everyone. While I stand here, the first thing I realize is that I need to buy an orange tie. So next time when I come to Washington High, I can proudly wear orange. I'm standing here, I'm so proud, because today we're witnessing something that's historic that's happening here. Not only because of the long history of this high school that we feel so proud of as a Fremont resident, but also feel that this is a great project that's put together with the strong support from the community. I feel honored today we have mayor and almost all the city council here. Some of them are Huskies or honorary Huskies. Go Huskies! I also realize that the Measure E bond is a strong evidence that the community wants to work with the school district to provide the best education we can afford to our next generation. We have teacher coming to the board meeting saying that we have traveling teachers. I personally visited Washington Science Labs and as a scientist, I also sense the urgent need for us to improve or upgrade our science classrooms. After all, we're at the center of Silicon Valley and uh, we're proud of our STEM programs and uh, our students deserve the best facility. So today, on behalf of the school board, I'm very proud to announce that we do take into consideration of the needs of our students. We do take into consideration of our teachers so that we can provide them with a better working environment. And I'm very grateful for all the Measure E-Bound team to put together such a project where we know that Measure E-Bound is mainly for the conversion of junior high to middle school and that we don't have much money left for upgrading our high school classrooms. But still, with the contingency fund and other ways that we can put together this project, that hopefully, very soon, there will be a brand new science building standing here to give our Huskies a better tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chow and John Chaswick. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say a few things about the building and our design team and construction team. This has been a long project, like, like all of the projects that we have been working on. Another really cool one, it's science and classrooms, two stories, similar to some of the other projects. It's a project frog building, and it's going to blend into this campus um, um, really nicely into the same styling, similar anyway. And so the, the help that I really need to thank for this whole process is our bond construction management team, which is actually Vanner Construction Management for program management. We have um, Roblin Construction Management for the CM on the day-to-day -day of this project. Uh, the design team, um, which is a design build team, I have Rodan Builders and SVA Architects, um, who've done such a good job putting this together and maintaining the schedules. And then, of course, the Citizens Bond Oversight Committee, which we'd like to thank the members that, that so diligently watch what we do and make sure that the funds are spent appropriately. So. Um, with all those, I just wanted to thank everyone for this process, especially the design group for the bond team. All right, thank you. All right, good afternoon. I'm the only thing standing between us and these shovels to begin the groundbreaking. I just wanna say as superintendent, I always have to give credit to my predecessor, Dr. Jim Morris, as he has come up with many of these ideas and helped them come to fruition. So I just wanna give a shout out to Jim, who is back in Southern California working on other things. Um, I hope to deliver in the same vein that he had originally imagined this. And I also have to say that there's just such a long history of Huskies in this town. And my mom, I have, my mother is 80 years old and she has a 90 
90-year-old boyfriend who grew, who grew up in Niles and graduated 72 years ago from Washington High School. So we hope that this building stands the test of time as well as my mother's 90-year-old boyfriend. And we are going to go ahead and uh, line up with our shovels and do our ceremonial groundbreaking and then look forward to the real groundbreaking when we can actually get these buildings off the ground. So thank you very much. How we do it? Definitely be for the ripping cutting. Right. Oh, there we go. Yeah. For sure. All right, thank you.